guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today, I just wanted to celebrate some small little pocket palettes. I picked out 10 palettes in my collection that all have between three and six eyeshadows and I wanted to tell you about them. Now, these are my favorite ones. I kind of gave myself the rule that I would only pick one from each brand. Um, I easily could have picked other ones from some of these brands, but I narrowed it down to what I feel like is my absolute favorite, at least in this moment, and I thought I would share them with you. I think it's so funny because back in the day I used to associate quads with like either really luxury makeup, maybe like older makeup, boring makeup, that type of thing, or drugstore. And I feel like as Morphe palettes and just larger palettes became popular, I really just hated, like I hated a quad. I was never tempted, you know, get the fuck out of my face type of thing. And now I love a little mini palette. I'm really actually inspired by small color stories. Of course, not all of them work for me. Uh, I feel like I try to be pretty picky about what I want in a small palette, but because I'm back into neutrals and into more simple looks, I find I actually can get a lot of great looks and feel really good and get a lot of use also out of my quads as opposed to my bigger palettes, which I still love those, but I might have favorite shadows within those palettes and then the rest might not get used. If I can find that perfect pocket palette, I find a lot of the shadows, if not all of them, get used at some point. So anyway, without further ado, you get it. You know what a little palette is. <laughs> Let's get into them. All right, in full disclosure, I filmed this video before, but I was just getting like, it does not, this is not deep, but it's fun, okay? And I feel like I was trying to justify. I don't need to justify shit, okay? <laughs> These are what I like. So we're gonna start off with Charlotte Tilbury. So many different quads from Charlotte Tilbury, so um, maybe this one's not the right one for you, but for me, exaggerize is it all the way. If I wanna feel freaking pretty as hell, like, you know, I'm using makeup in that way, this is the quad I can go to for something simple, fast, but yet so put together. There's something about these rosy tones in here. So the matte in here, it's only one matte, which I also love. I love a high shimmer ratio, okay? <laughs> I don't want a ton of mattes. I don't use a ton of mattes. Like my look today is literally one shadow. We'll get there and I do have a video with this or hopefully do, oh my gosh, if it's not all out of focus. But anyway, I love these kind of warm browns that have like a red or like purple undertone to them, there's something about them that makes them just the tiniest bit different. And it complements my eye color really well, my skin tone really well, like I just fucking love them. So I love the matte in here, but then it has all these shimmers. It has like a classic champagne, which I use on my brow bone and inner corner. Although that's kind of a boring shade. And a lot of the times if a palette doesn't have it, it's not a deal breaker for me because I can just use my highlighter. I can't deny that it's nice. It's nice to just have it all in one palette. This shade over here, which looks kind of boring and looks kind of light is so pretty all over the lid. It doesn't have too much shine. It's not super metallic, but it adds just the tiniest bit of brightness to my lid. Like it, you know, lets in and captures some light on my lid, kind of bounces it off. It just looks super youthful, super pretty, like very luxe in the most understated way to me is how I feel in that. And then it has one of these more sparkly, almost wet looking shadows in here. Now this does get hard pan, which is like fucking annoying, like so annoying. But despite that, I still like it. I find a lot of shadows with this formula I get Harpan. I don't know what's up with that, but we need some innovations in that formula maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I still love this. I usually tap it like right in here. It captures so much light. I put it on the brow bone. Sometimes I even put it out here. Now this color specifically in the shadow is also just what has my heart beating so fast. This is like a cool toned beige. So there is a warmth to the base, but the sparkle on top has something kind of taupey going on. It also has some other colors as well in it. So I almost pick up something kind of blue, kind of purple. There's this like low key, nude, minimal, like confetti look about it. I know, does that make sense? It's like if a confetti cake were like toned down saturation wise, that's what this sparkle reminds me of. It's like the minimal natural version of what that would look like. Mm, that's like what I love. So love this quad. And like I said, I'm picking the quads that are like my personal favorite, but of course, like depending on your preferences or even your skin tone, there might be other quads or other colors that might be more your style. Let's talk about what's on my eyes. This is one of my newer purchases, but this Tarte six pan, the Tartlet Jewel palette, I think is what it is. I was going back and forth, but the price on this $21, which is pretty good, good i mean i don't know at this point i just feel like big palettes they are just stepping up the prices like i'm like <laughs> i get inflation but what the fuck is happening like i don't know why 65 dollars for a palette is like more normal now like what 
what's going on? Anyway, I picked this up on 30% off though. So I got it for about $15, which is, you know, it's worth the full price, honestly, but I love getting a deal. This one is stunning. It's what I have on my eyes today. I'm just wearing the color Precious, which is this beautiful taupey purple. It definitely has some purple to it, but it's still very neutral. And I was looking at photos, like I said, I was on the fence about this palette, but what ultimately convinced me is that there are three shimmers, three mattes. So I was happy with the amount of shimmers, even though it's a few more mattes than I would normally do. But the shimmers that were in here, two of them looked flaky and delicious. Like, you know, like they just had something more going on. I was like, okay, I think this might be worth it. And I was right. It's super good, especially if you are someone who does quick looks on the go. Like, again, that's what a lot of these palettes are really good for is just like that makeup bag staple, travel bag staple, that type of stuff. Again, we have like that champagne in here. So I love using that. Color I probably don't like the most is Bobble, but even that I can make work, but it's a little bit mm, to me out of place. Love Precious. I even love this shade too, which is a little more golden. And I feel like for a six pan, I can get a decent amount of looks in here because the lid shades do differ a bit. Like one's more purple and can be fine for every day, but I could really smoke out if I want to. And the other one's a little bit more warm toned and I can again go lighter or smoke it out. So four six pans, quite a bit of variety in the neutral zone on that one. Love it. Probably one of the palettes that inspired me the most to make this video and kind of just condense all this information in one video because if if you watch my channel, you probably know some of these already. You're probably like, girl, we know. But I really wanted to have it all in one video. And the Linda Hallberg Shimmer Saga Quad, I just, I love it. You guys, I love this squad. It's so pretty. I'm gonna insert a clip of me filming this video for just for my eye look because I did this really stunning look with a black liner. I took it and put it on the outer edge, put on the inner edge, did this kind of halo eye, and I topped Crush, which kind of looks like JD Glow Unexpected, like very similar to that. And I put it on top and it kind of brought out the green it was just so stunning a little bit smoky for me and I just love that this is jam pack full of sparkle and shimmer if you don't like sparkle if you don't like like glittery looking eyeshadows you're not gonna like this these all have like some type of duochromatic flip to them I do have a short on this that kind of gives a little bit more in depth and also compares it to the Enchanted Secrets palette from Linda Hallberg which is limited edition, but I'm just obsessed with this. This is like $42, so it's definitely a little bit more expensive, but when I break that down per shade, I'm not mad at it. I definitely heard that some of you don't like the price on this one, um, especially because the shadows are a little bit, like they're not small, but small for her shadows. But I feel like for about $10 a piece, at least for me, like I am so happy to have this in a compact little quad. Sometimes I don't want to take single shadows around with me, um, and I actually love every single shadow in here. Crush and Love are probably my two favorites, but I still definitely find a place for the other two in looks and have already used this a lot but also can see me using this a lot just an inspiring little quad I love how compact it is I love how sparkly it is it's beautiful like love it and it's really neutral heavy although it has those flips and I love that about it too because I am tending to reach for more neutrals lately but these have that perfect amount of something special to them moving on I of course had to mention a Rowan quad I now own all of them I love my Rowan quads these are cream shadows for the most part some of them have a few powders in them, but the one I decided to put in this video was the Mood Forever Quad. I just, I love this one. I have Pan in one of the shadows in here. That's how much I love it. It's that same kind of beigey, taupey thing. So it's just enough warm toned that it doesn't look harsh and stark on my skin. Like it has a little bit of life to it, but also it's not like warm and bronzy. And I find that the reflex in here kind of like that muted confetti where you have a little bit of a teal, you you have a little bit of a purple, you have a little bit of a pink, like so beautiful, so, so, so stunning. Love that shadow. I mean, that really is what puts this palette in the top for me. I also really do love the other two like peachier shades in here. The lighter one is this perfect sun-kissed look. So simple, so easy. It's not necessarily a very unique shadow, but I find these kind of peachy golds look really great. And this one's a little bit more subtle on that flip as well. So I find there's something really luxurious about it. I actually don't love this kind of champagne shadow that's in here. It's probably actually one of my least favorite Rowan shadows, but because I love that taupey shadow so much, like it saves this palette, even though I don't love this one. It's not the worst, but definitely not a standout when it comes to Rowan. But overall, I love this quad. I feel like it gives me a very luxurious feel using it. I feel like I look 
kind of like my eyeshadow looks expensive. I look put together. I, I feel like that girl, you know, I love this so much. And for the Rowan cream formula, these don't set down. So just something to consider. I always mention that, um, but I still love them. You guys know, okay, love Rowan. Honestly, I've just been like more and more into their line. I've been really enjoying the blushes from them. I've really been enjoying the highlighter stick, which I was not expecting to love that highlighter stick. I kind of bought it on a whim and I love it. So just in general, like Rowan's so good to me. Let's talk about something boring, like so boring, but it's in here because the use is there, okay? The use on this palette is, is there. This is the Naked Sin palette from Urban Decay. They did send this out to me. I don't know if I would have bought it, honestly, because I mean, look at it, it looks kind of boring. It really does. And there's a lot about this palette I don't necessarily love. Like I don't love this highlighter shade. It's like kind of chalky. <laughs> like it's kind of like what the, what the heck? There's a few repeat shadows in here, but I really love the matte in here. I know, I just said I love shimmers, but the matte, boring, is this perfect like transition for me where I can use this and then go into any like shimmer I want to. So simple, so easy, and for that, I love it. I also have been loving Sin too, kind of bringing it back to those Urban Decay roots in the Naked palette. It does have like a darker shade for me to deepen up. It's one of those ones that's like a companion palette for sure, right? Like just putting this in my bag and then maybe packing some ColourPop Super Shocks or some single shadows I've been really wanting to use or something cream or, you know, something that has more pizzazz. This gives me the base that I might want to do anything with. If I want like a lighter base, I got it. If I want something to smoke it out a little bit more, I got it. If I really did want to do a full look, I could do it with this. But yeah, this has actually been getting the use way more than I ever could have imagined, honestly. And I do like the packaging as well. I find it really sturdy and it's kind of like this workhorse for me anyway. So I think they came out with like three or so of these palettes like this is one of three so maybe the other color stories are better but I know I surprised myself even <laughs> I really do. If you like something about that, but you're like, that's too boring. I think this next one's like actually kind of similar or could give you a little more variety. This is the Natasha Denona mini retro. My favorite, I would say almost by far, but I do like the Zendo mini as well. I just find this so intriguing. I think this color story is really interesting while being still very useful and workable. So it has a similar shade to boring actually in here, that matte. And I use it in a similar way where it looks just good in my crease by itself. And again, I don't I love mattes on their own, but when I use this, it makes me think, should I just do a matte look today? And that's like a big deal. <laughs> I also love this really sparkly shade in here. There's one in here that almost looks wet. Again, it has that like kind of blue flip going on in it, even though the base is a little bit more pink and warm. I love that contrast. That's some of my favorite stuff. There's something about a shadow not being so cool toned or fully cool toned that I just feel like looks really great on my skin, you know? Like it looks more seamless, I guess, you know, maybe a little bit more natural yet glam. So I, I love that, like, I wish she made more shadows like that formula. But then there's something kind of interesting with this olive green and I love the matte in here. It's dark enough to be something to deepen up any look you wanna do, uh, but it is green still. And so you can do something green leaning or just treat it like a normal neutral and it's gonna look great too. I love that versatility. The shimmer olive that's in here is also so stunning. There's a coolness to it. It's almost like a silver sheen on top of this olive color. And I think as like a single shadow look, it looks so good. Good. a little sultry a little something you know but so pretty and I just think this is such an inspiring fun color story I'm still not over the fact that the midi retro doesn't follow this color story like I was so excited for that but you know, it is what it is. I'm trying to get over it. All right, I have four more palettes to talk about next. This is the only trio I think that's in here. I love this trio from Glossier. This is the almond one, specifically this color, kind of that rosewood thing. I believe on the website, they call this a rosy brown and it just looks so good. It's not too warm, it's not too yellow golden or too like warm bronze. There's something about it that's just a little subdued. And although this is a very monochromatic look, I mean, that's what they are. They're called the monochromes palettes. Like. They're meant to be one color, essentially. I feel like I would almost hate that, but I love it. I actually really love it in this palette. The matte's really nice. I don't always even use that though. I really feel like the star of the show for me is this satin. I love using the satin shade in here to just put on my lid, just take a fluffy brush. Almost treat it like a matte, but I'm just blending it all over my lid, on the lid, in the crease, everywhere, and it looks good 
every time. Again, it's one of those ones that's like a satin, so it just barely catches the light and brings some light to your face, kind of, you know, wakes you up, looks really good, like just looks so good. And then specifically this color, I think just works so well for me. There is a more sparkly shade in here too, and that looks great also on its own if I wanna go more sparkly, uh, but I also feel like it's not too far. You know, it's not too, too sparkly, but it definitely has it in there. And I actually really appreciate the three different formulas in here. So I love it definitely for a more subtle look an everyday look if you're someone who wants to just like know what you do every day you don't want to spend time thinking about that in the morning maybe just for going out and weekends you want to like amp it up but for every other part of when you're wearing makeup you want something simple something like this is really nice and i love that the formula is pretty easy to work with so it's not going to be like fucked up you know you're not going to accidentally one day like put too much on and just be shit out of luck you know what i mean so i love that about it it's so simple and i like the packaging as well it's a little thick but it's nice and they have refills if you were actually using this every day and you wanted to replace it you can just refill the pan all right next this is probably the most inexpensive one in here this is from Lorac and it's the Mystic Oak six pan. I don't, what's a six pan called besides that? Is it a se sept? No, that's like seven, I thought. All right, anyway, I went back and forth between this and Frosted Sequoia. Both of those are so good. If you want something that has like a cool tone in it, but is a little more warm leaning, I would go with that one. But these are $15. They're very mini. Like when we're talking pocket, like we mean it. This is the size of a pocket. This could fit in the, like the tiny pocket inside your pocket in your jeans. You know what I mean? It's that tiny. There are some really beautiful textures in here. This has two Two mattes, four shimmers, so I love that ratio. The mattes in here are not what I use for the most part. I mean, there's a black, which is helpful if you want something very smoky, but even the lighter matte in here is not, <laughs> even for me, it's kind of light. So, you know, I don't love those, but the other colors really save it. There's this beautiful minky, like taupey, bronzy thing going on. You guys know, like my all-time favorite type of shadow right now. So I love that just all over the lid. So simple, so beautiful. There's also more of like this charcoal gray it's a little bit smokier but again it has this slight warmth to the base so it doesn't go too cool and i love that also as a smoky eye if i want you know to go there but then there's this textured beautiful shadow also kind of in the same realm of those like beigey colors that lean kind of gray looking cool toned looking but they aren't fully you know what i mean but this one has a lot of sparkle to it it's more of like a sheer base and it's just stunning so i love this and also again for the price really, really, really great. You're not getting like luxury packaging, but something compact like this, I just, I really appreciate. And it forces you to really use and know your eyeshadows in these quads if you're actually using them. And there's something about that I really like, you know? Again, I mentioned at the beginning, if you have a really big palette, it's hard to know those shadows so well. And with these small ones, even in a short amount of time, I can really get to know them and how I like to wear them and how they look best and how they serve different occasions or different needs. I'm might have so I really like that it really uh, is satisfying to know I'm getting a lot of use out of them and that they're serving me really well okay next this is from I think is it just Aether Beauty I think it might be Aether Beauty but this is the Citrine Quad now I initially had tried the Rose one I think it's the Rose Quartz Quad I didn't really like that one I didn't think there was anything special I didn't even like the colors like it just wasn't my thing but a lot of you recommended I think it was this one or a different one I can't remember so I was like okay maybe that one's just the dud and that's how I feel. I think that one's just like, don't get the rose quartz. The Citrine palette, I love. This has one matte, three shimmers, and all the shimmers in here definitely have more of that sparkle. And I think that texture and finish is just so nice. I'm really glad more brands are doing it. These aren't so intense that, you know, you you feel like you're putting like legitimate glitter, like, you know, you're going to a festival makeup on. It's not like that, but it definitely has some really nice sparkle and shine. And I, I love that. I want that texture. I don't just necessarily necessarily want. Really what I'm not into is the foiled. Like I'm not into foiled metallic looks. I'd rather have a satin or I'd rather have something with some sparkle. I'm not really feeling full on metallic right now, I think. But anyway, this one definitely has a nice warm kind of sun kiss look. I think it's a beautiful bronzy look for summer or for fall. I feel like it transitions both really nicely. I always just feel really pretty when I use this quad. It's not necessarily the most diverse. You're going to get a very similar look, but it kind of steps it up. Like this one's a little bit more darker. I love that just all over the lid, but then this one has a little bit more warmth to 
to it. It's a little more sunny looking, a little more golden. This I mostly use on the inner corner. It's a little bit sparkly for the brow bone, honestly, because it, it has that shimmer in it. And then the matte in here for me at least is really just useful if I want to kind of anchor some stuff in the outer corner. So love this little quad. And I was really happy that this was a way different experience than what I had with the rose quartz. And last, this one, I was not interested at all when it came out. Like I literally didn't give it a second glance. And then it was more like I would watch people's like collection videos, declutter videos, that type of stuff. And I would see it and be like, gosh, I need this. I need that. That's like perfect for me. And I'm talking about the Pat McGrath Venus in Fleurs palette. Now this is just stunning. It is a more luxury product, but I really love that you're getting one of those really textured flaky shadows from Pat McGrath. The one that's in here has a really strong, almost like an orangey golden color. It almost leans a little green at some points, but then it reflects quite hot pink. And I love that. I think it's really vibrant, really special, adds a lot to this quad. There is a champagne shade in here. This one's more of that metallic. So I really like using it more on the inner corner than I do the brow bone because it can get a little frosty. It can get a little much, but it's definitely bright and stands out. It has that rosewood matte shade you guys know I love. And then really the shade that makes this usable for every day and not only really glam, more done up looks is this last one here. I love this all over the lid. It's honestly like a perfect bronzy shade for me. It has just enough sheerness, just enough sparkle where it's, you know, a little bit special, but not nearly as special and as flaky as that other duochrome in here. Again, it makes me feel like really expensive, kind of sultry. Ooh, so, so good. And I love that if I really wanted to, this could be my like everyday quad wear. I use that every day. Some days maybe put that in the outer corner, um, but then I could do like a halo eye, something really fun with this. And I find a lot of the times when I wanna go for more simple, I'll like be like, I'm just gonna use that. But the shade always like makes it on my eyes somewhere uh, cause I just can't resist using it. So I love this. I wish it was a little smaller. Like I don't need the pans this big. I don't need the whole product this big. I mean, this is the size of some brands nine pan eyeshadow palettes, but there's only four in here. And I just personally would love it to be a little bit smaller, but I can't deny such a pretty quad. I love it. And those are all my pocket palettes, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to know what pocket palettes you love. I'd also love to know some of your drugstore favorites. I wanna go check them out because I have a few from e.l.f. now that I enjoy. And I remember, again, that being way more where you'd get quads, but I just haven't checked them out in a while. And so if you have any really great recommendations, let me know. Maybe I can do a part two. I kind of think I'll do a part two at some point anyway, but yeah, I just, I love these small color stories. It seems counterintuitive that they be a little bit more inspiring than like more shades. Sometimes you think more is more, but more is not always more. And right now I definitely love these little guys. They're so cute. So let me know your recommendations. Um, let me know your favorites. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.